In today's lesson, we're going to take a deep dive into how I like to use major seven arpeggios. These arpeggio shapes we're going to cover in this lesson and the lines we can make from them are one of the most versatile and useful tools you can have in your back pocket as a guitar player. My name is Jack Roosh. Welcome to my channel. Let's get into it. <music> So first things first, a major seventh arpeggio is a four note arpeggio consisting of a major triad with a major seventh on top. So in the key of C, that would be C the root, E the major third, G the perfect fifth, and B the major seventh. Now these interval numbers come out of the major scale. We're playing the first, third, fifth, and seventh notes of a C major scale. Now, as with everything on the guitar, we can break these arpeggios down in five different positions. And these uh, five positions correspond with our different major seventh chord voicings. So C major seven, C major seven, C major seven, C major seven, and C major seven, right? So now I'm going to play over a C major uh, vamp and I'm going to start by playing these five um, major seven chord voicings, followed by a very simple line taken right out of the C major seven arpeggio in that position. <laughs> Obviously, we can play a C major 7 arpeggio over a C major chord. But there's a few other chords we can play the same arpeggio over to invoke a different sound. Um, the first one we're going to cover here is the relative minor. Now, C major's relative minor is A minor. That means the notes of a C major scale are the exact same as the notes of an A minor scale. So now we can play our exact same C major 7 arpeggio over an A minor chord to get a really beautiful sound. This is actually going to give us an A minor 9 sound with the flat 3, the 5th, the flat 7th, and the 9th of an A minor chord. So now I'll play over an A minor vamp and I will do the same thing. I'll play this simple C major 7 line in our five different positions over A minor. is over a dominant chord. Now we can play a major seventh arpeggio a whole step below a dominant chord, and that's gonna give us all of our upper extensions or color notes on top of that chord. So we'll play C major seven over a D dominant seventh chord, and that's gonna give us the flat seven, the nine, the eleventh, and the thirteenth. So all these beautiful upper extended notes on top of that chord. So here it is again. I'll play over a D7 vamp this time and play our same line in all five positions. <laughs> and bolts 
of this concept worked out. Let's use it in a solo. Um, I've got a backing track laid out here that uses all of these chords. It's gonna start with C major seven, and then go to A minor, and then to D seven, and then finally to G major just to resolve the progression. So over these first three chords, we can use our C major seven arpeggio to outline uh, different sounds over these chords. So uh, I'll play along to the backing track now and I'm gonna start out just keeping it really simple. I'll just play um, a very simple C major seven arpeggio line and repeat it over those first three chords. Um, and then I'll open up a little bit and play a little bit more freely, but still lean heavily on that C major seven arpeggio sound. arpeggio line but change the chords underneath. Now let's use a different type of progression where we're actually going to use two different arpeggios to outline the changes. For this we'll use a simple 2-5-1 in C major. The chords are going to be D minor 7 to G dominant 7 to C major 7. And for this D minor 7 chord we're going to use um, the major 7th arpeggio uh, from the relative major which is uh, F major. Right. If we go up from D minor, there's our relative major. So we'll play F major 7 over this D minor chord, and then we can stay on that F major 7th arpeggio when we move to G7, because F is one whole step below G. So uh, for those first two chords, we can hang on this F major 7 arpeggio. And then as we resolve to the C major chord, we can switch over to a C major 7th arpeggio. So I'll play through um, a track that just goes through this 2-5-1 chord progression. And again, I'll play really simple at first, um, just fleshing out that F major 7th sound to the C major 7th sound. And then I'll stretch out a little bit and play a little bit more freely, but still lean heavily on those arpeggios. superimpose major seventh arpeggios over the different chords of a common chord progression. Now before we end today's lesson, I want to play the solo that I used at the intro of this lesson. And um, this chord progression is a little bit more in the form of a song with an A section and a B section. I'll put the chord chart up on the screen so you can follow along. And I'm going to solo using um, these arpeggio shapes that we've talked about today in this lesson. Um, and this will hopefully give you kind of a complete picture of how you can use this concept in a very practical way in a song.
for watching. Um, as always, the backing tracks and tabs for this lesson will be available on my Patreon page. And please check the links down in the description for my different courses I have available. I've got the tip jar links down there as well. All of those are great ways to support this channel. And I really want to thank you all for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Happy practicing. And I will catch you next time. Take care.